What's up and good morning y'all, welcome back to another video. So today we are back out here on Falls Lake. If you guys remember, if you guys been keeping up, about a month ago I was catching them pretty decently offshore. Just about every time I got out here I could, I could find a school and actually catch some. But recently it's gotten tough and I kind of expected that with the, with the summer fishing and, and just fishing for those schools and stuff so we're gonna see what we can do today i'm not really sure exactly what's gonna happen but we finally got a, a some cooler weather it's been really hot lately and i think that's a big reason why these fish are, have been kind of tough you know that we haven't had much weather change we had a little bit of that hurricane elsa come through and that was just basically some rain for about one day and then it went right back to being like, like high 80s and almost into the 90s and just like no wind or anything it's just it has these fish really tough right now but yesterday we got a full day basically rained all day and it was pretty cool and this morning is pretty cool as you can see i'm wearing a hoodie i'm about to take it off because it's already getting warm but it was about 65 this morning and it's only supposed to get up to like 75 maybe 80 today so we're gonna see what happens y'all like i said we did have some rain from hurricane elsa and then we also have had some rain you know partially and mostly in the afternoons but yesterday it did rain all day so i think it has the lake up a little bit so i'm hoping that it kind of pushed the fish a little bit shallower into some of the shallow grass that we have up here and i'm going to fish around see if we can't get a few bites up there and if not that then i'm about to head deep i'm also filming my boat tour video i'm probably going to have that video out before this one so if you guys haven't seen that yet or if you are interested go to my last video check that out if you if you haven't yet i have been skunked a few times out here trying to film videos so Hopefully we can get some bites today. It's been a little while and we're gonna see what happens. Y'all stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. All right, y'all, so starting off on this main lake point with some grass on it. Um, we've cut some fish off here, kind of this time of year. I'm gonna start off fishing up shallow on this point. It might go off a little bit, maybe fish it a little bit deeper if I don't get any bites up shallow, but I just feel like this cooler weather and this rain that, that came through yesterday might have them up shallow feeding. If you can't tell, I'm testing out a new microphone right now, a new microphone system. But if y'all are interested in me doing a kind of camera setup video, let me know because I'd be happy to do that. It's not really something I've talked about a whole lot yet. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see like a camera setup, like how I set my cameras up, how I use them all day while I'm fishing and stuff. And I'll definitely be down to do that. But anyways, we're gonna get to fishing y'all. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can get some, some summer bass. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. That was funny, y'all. Little, little teeny tiny guy, but we got to fish up shallow on a little fluke. No wonder he wouldn't hit, hit a buzzbait or a, or a frog. Just on a little weightless green pumpkin fluke, or actually it's a watermelon fluke. Kept seeing fish blowing up um, in this little pocket on this point. And uh, I threw the frog at them while they were like schooling up. They didn't hit that. And I was like, all right, yeah, I think I got a good idea of what to throw. So I picked up a little, a little fluke, tied that on, and like first couple casts in there, got that one little tiny guy. But hopefully there's some bigger ones up here doing the same thing that he was. I think he's feeding on bluegill or shad up in this, up in the, up and around the grass. So hopefully there's some more. And uh, yeah, that was sick. Uh, basically just fishing on the, yep. Okay, there we go, y'all. We're on to something. Second cast. And we got a better one. That is what I'm talking about. He choked it too. There we go. All right. Second fish. Got him in the gills. So I'm just going to go ahead and put him back. There he goes. Our next cast in there after that last one. Again on that weightless fluke. That feels good. Getting onto a little bit of a pattern. Hopefully we can run with this for the rest of the morning. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> this is fun. Even though they're not big, it feels good to get onto a pattern again. There we go, third fish of the day. Even though he's not giant, this is a whole lot of fun. Oh, that was sick. That's a better one too. That's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice one. Best one of the day for sure. Oh, this was sick. That was so sick, y'all. There we go. Look at that. Look at that hook right in the top of the mouth too. 
Like you gotta love that. That that top water bite too, even though this is a, a fluke and not a top water bait, he smacked it. That's how I'm fishing it right there at the top of the water and he absolutely smacked it. I knew there ought to be some better fish up here. I'm gonna see how long I can run this pattern for. I mean, he's not a giant by any means, but that was a sick top water eat. And he's, he was a fun fish to catch, so thank you, buddy. There he goes. I'm almost fishing this like a little mini glide bait, y'all. I'm just kind of throwing it up here in the weeds. Look at that, another one. Oh, that was so sick. Oh yeah, these aren't, they're not giants by any means, but y'all, this is so fun. They're feisty. Anyways, yeah, I'm fishing this like a little mini glide bait almost. I'm just kind of like twitching it like this and it's basically just gliding through all these uh, all these pieces of grass. And they're just up here. I think they're feeding on bluegill, maybe shad mixed in, but I'm thinking small bluegill that probably have just started to hatch and stuff and maybe ones that are up here spawning. I'm just dancing it kind of through all these, all the weeds and stuff. And it's just the same spot. I don't know, I mean, I could probably go down this bank and, and probably catch a couple more. They're here for a reason. I think it's because as you can probably tell, there's a little bit of a dip in here. And I think this side of the point is a little bit deeper. So they have access to deep water and they're able to push this bait up here. And I'm just kind of dancing it on the top of the water. It'll kind of dip down and, and, and dart sometimes. And I kind of like that erratic kind of hunting action. And they're just coming up and smoking it right here on the top of the water. Oh! Did you guys see that? He came all the way out of the water. <laughs> that was sick. Seemed like another little guy, so I'll probably move spots in a little bit because it seems like there's mostly dinks up here. That that one, that last bigger one I got, that one was pretty sick, but I want to see if there's some bigger, I have a feeling I can find, catch some more size of that bigger one I caught in a different spot I have in mind. So I might, I might move there in the next few minutes. There's another one. <laughs> Another little guy, yeah, I think I'll probably leave. Oh, did he take my fluke? He did. Just put that thing on. Another little guy, but hey, this is so fun. You cannot complain when you're catching fish on a pattern like this. So yeah, I think that'll call it for me uh, for this spot. So I'm about to head to that new spot. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can get some more. crappie on a Nico rig. Not what I was after, but I'll take it. A little crappie on a Nico rig. And it's the first time I've ever done that. Pretty, pretty good size one too. Good sign. Maybe I can do some crappie fishing if the bass don't end up biting. There we go, there's one. Finally, found some offshore. And he popped off, let's go. Not even sure if that's a bass, but I think it is. Yeah, I don't know how he came off, but it didn't seem like a good, a big one or anything. But yeah, I'm fishing a little Nico rig. Finally found a, a decent little school out here offshore. There we go. There's one. All right, you stay down. You stay down, buddy. Don't jump, please. Finally. Come on, you. Please get in the boat. There we go. Definitely one of the better ones of the day. That is what I'm talking about. That feels good. Just on a little Nico rig, y'all. Get back down there, buddy. Go tell your friends to bite. All right, let's get back out there. There we go. Oh, did he come off? Oh, nope. A little white bass on the crankbait. Love that. Well, at least something's willing to eat a moving bait or like a more power fishing bait. There we go, a little white bass on the crankbait. First cast with it, so I'm guessing this 
just a mixed group in here. It doesn't seem like it's just bass. Obviously earlier I caught that crappie on the Nico rig and then that was first cast with the crankbait. And yeah, I'm seeing them on the school right now. There we go, another one, another white bass. Yeah, that's, actually this might be a largemouth. Nope, just bigger white bass. All right, well, these are having some fun. Haven't caught fish on a crankbait all summer long. Even though it's not the intended species, it feels, feels good. All right, well, there's two white bass on the crankbait. Not what I'm after, not the intended species, but hopefully I'm firing them up. Maybe I can get some largemouth to bite. It feels good to get some bites on the crankbait. I, I throw it almost every time I come out because I know it can be good this time of year. But yeah, they're under me right now. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I don't, it could be white bass and largemouth mixed in. That all looks like white bass all stacked up like that, but those look like largemouth. Kind of more horizontal and uh, spread out like that. But white bass will, will stack up on each other like that. So hopefully we can get some more to bite and see. We can get a large mouth. There we go. That could be a large mouth. I don't know. Last time I said that, but this one feels a little bit better. Let me catch up with them. Finally got some on the crankbait. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good large mouth. No, it's not. It's a it was a giant white bass. Oh my god. You could have told me that was a striper and I would have believed you but I know we don't got a striper in here anymore. I mean, hey, maybe it was a striper. <laughs> maybe they're making a comeback in Falls Lake. I doubt it though. That, I was like, dude, that's a largemouth, but no, I saw the stripes and everything. That was definitely a white bass. Just like that. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I'm on. My drag was set, wasn't set right. Hey, 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 what do you know? White bass on the crankbait. I mean, not white bass, largemouth on the crankbait. First largemouth on the crankbait all freaking year, y'all. There we go. Largemouth on the crankbait. Finally, took him long enough. There he goes. A little white, little largemouth on the crankbait. I'm so used to saying white bass now. Let's uh, see if we can't get a couple more. That guy, he ate it and the drag wasn't set right because I was loosening it up on that, on that little white bass, or that big white bass, actually. Another one. Oh, is that a largemouth? It is. Let's go another largey. I thought I was gonna have to make this a finesse fishing video. Let's see, is he legal? Yeah, he's about 12, we'll, we'll keep him, eat him for dinner. Gotcha. He's going back. Sick. On to a freaking sick little crankbait bite. It has been so long. I, actually, I don't even think I've been on a crankbait bite, y'all. So this feels good. This feels really good. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Oh, he freaking popped off. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. What is going on? What kind of fish do I have? That is a giant bass. Please don't come off, please don't come off, please don't come off, please don't come off. Another good bass. Oh, not a giant, but that's a pretty good one, y'all. Let's go. Oh, that was such a weird bite. I don't know when he hit it, but I just reeled down and he was there. That's probably the best largemouth of the day. Let's go, y'all. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Some deep cranking right there. Nice fish, probably, probably like a three or four pounder. Oh, finally getting onto a good crankbait bite, y'all. This feels so good. Nice fish going back in. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Let's see if we get some more, y'all. There we go. Yeah, that time. Ooh, another good largemouth. Let's go. <laughs> another good largemouth, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Just destroying the crankbait. Let's go. Going back in. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. All right, let's get another one. I had to film a TikTok real quick. You know how it is. There 
is another good largemouth. They're all in like, like that two and a half, three pound range, but hey, this is so fun. Come here, buddy. Let's go. Dude, this is nuts. Look at that, another, another solid one. This is so crazy, y'all. There he goes. My hand is cramping from cranking, y'all. I got the crank cramp. I can feel him hitting it, and then it's just like one will just end up being on there. There we go, right there, right at the bottom of the boat. Right before I was about to come up on it. Another decent little largey. Need to back up a little bit, I think. This is too much fun, y'all. Now I know why people always get hyped for summer cranking. I don't even know how many this is, honestly. This is so sick, he hit it right before I was about to pull it up and make another cast. Not at the boat, but he ate it like down right down there. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. Ugh, you can tell my hand is wet and it's cramping. But I can't stop. You can't freaking stop me. Someone stop me. This is freaking nuts, y'all. Oh, and these are all largemouth eating. They scared off the white bass. Thank you. There we go. Now they're probably like one pounder, but too much fun. There we go. Another one. Now they're probably one pounder. Whole lot of fun, though. Oh jeez, that might be a good one. That could be a catfish. Very well could be a catfish. Or a good bass, or a white bass, I don't know. Oh, he came off. Nope, something else came and got it. And that's something that seems to be pretty good too. Another good largemouth. Oh, that first one felt big though. I'm almost positive it came off and, and he must, this one must have came up and grabbed it after. They're like clones, like the big ones, or like the bigger ones are all the same size, then all the smaller ones are all like the exact same size. This is nuts. Another solid one though on that deep crank. Let's go. Thank you, buddy. I might put down the crankbait though and pick up like a swim bait or something because these treble hooks are just, oh, they're not it. Having to get them out every fish. Another one. There we go. Ah, this little guy, I thought he was bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna try the swim bait. It seems like they'll eat almost anything right now. So I'm gonna pick up a paddle tail swim bait, not a low one, probably a four or five inch one. Stop it, stop it, you aimed for me. You aimed to get that hook in me, I can tell. Another little one. Scoop. God, I cannot believe they wouldn't eat the swim bait. I'm about to get a bite on the crankbait after not getting one on the swim bait, I'm gonna be, yep. Nuts, literally same exact spot, same cast, and he just did not want the swim bait. You'd think the way that they're eating it, they'd just eat anything that would be thrown at them, but that is crazy. Another little guy, but he's a little bit more of a football. There we go. That feels like it could be a better one. Matter of fact, oh, last minute jumps. Love it. Another solid fish, probably three pounds another good fish god this is nuts i've never had a day like this any fish now could be the last one sometimes they can just shut off out of nowhere another one making sure my drag is good yeah another one about the same size barely hooked barely hooked you gotta have the right rod for it nice moderate rod has a lot of bend and give forgiveness it can be make or break in a tournament by missing a good one because you don't have the right equipment. Nuts, like how is this even real? Just like destroying them on a, on a deep crank and they won't eat anything else is what's even crazier about it. Another solid, solid fish. Back down to the depths. It's all the bait, there's some fish around it, but that's why there's so many fish here. All that bait right there, they're just stacked. Another one. Oh, well, I think they're done, y'all. I don't know, like I said, 
any fish could be the last one because it, it can just be as quickly as it turns on it can turn off and so it was very fun while it lasted couldn't ask for a better way to end the day i'm gonna have to uh pack it in and head home because you know i'm sweating bullets right now i, I need to go in it's hot y'all but that was super fun i am gonna get this marker buoy and make my way in and then when i get home i'll explain to y'all what i did to catch these fish I'll tell you guys the setup and stuff so stay tuned hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video All right, Joe, well, I am back home now. Yeah, that was a pretty unreal type of day. I've always wanted to get onto a deep crankbait bite like that. You know, I've, I've been trying to get better at the offshore fishing. Uh, every time I go out, I, I try the deep crank. Every time I mark fish, I try the deep crank because I never seem to want it. And I don't even know really why I picked it up today, but I did and I'm glad I did. You know, at first I was like, I, I need to go to finesse. You know, it was calm, it was hot. It was just, it didn't seem like there was gonna be a good crankbait bite, but sure enough, Enough, you know they wouldn't eat the finesse baits like I thought they were going to I just decided to pick up the deep crank just to, just to see and then I ended up starting to catch them and I think after I caught a couple it really fired them up and that's when I started catching them just like every cast and then you know it started to slow down a little bit and then before I knew it it was just done but I think overall I probably caught over 20 fish as far as bass like freshwater fishing goes definitely one of my better days and it was a lot of fun um, obviously the bait that really did it and what this video is probably gonna be most likely about is obviously the deep crank i thought it was gonna have to be a finesse type of day but this uh this bait right here this is a berkeley dredger i think it's called just in like a little sexy shad color i think it's like a 12 to 14 foot diving bait and i was fishing in probably around 12 foot so it was perfect depth and then that other bait that did it for me in the morning was just that simple little fluke fishing that weightless and just twitching it on the top of the water you know i tried a buzz bait i tried a frog and they wouldn't eat that for whatever reason and i was like let me try something a little bit more finesse something that they might not have seen as at least as much of yet and so i picked up that weightless this fluke and sure enough within like the first couple casts I ended up getting bit and ended up getting onto a decent little bite doing that as far as the setup goes for the deep crank this setup is like a seven foot six medium heavy moderate action rod and so it has a lot of bend a lot of forgiveness so when you pin those fish with those treble hooks even though they, a couple of them came off today a lot of times when you pin them with the treble hooks you want a nice rod that has a lot of bend and forgiveness so it's harder for those fish to come up and shake those hooks out you know when they're head shaking and stuff the treble hooks they can come out real easy and then I have a six three to one gear ratio reel with 12 pound fluorocarbon. I tried a swim bait. I tried a hair jig. I tried the finesse stuff and they wouldn't eat anything. But whenever I throw the crankbait in there, it was like every cast. And so, you know, it can differ throughout the summer. Some days they don't want anything to do with the crankbait. I've definitely had those days. And some days can be like this, where it's the only thing that they want, which is crazy. Cause it seems like, like when you're fishing it, it's like every cast and it's like, all right, they're, they're going to eat anything I throw in there. And then you throw something else in there and they don't eat it. It's crazy, but it's all part of fishing, experimenting, figuring stuff out and and getting experience on the water is one of the most important things. So you always gotta, always gotta switch things up, try new things. You know, I wasn't expecting to get onto a crankbait bite today. I thought it was gonna be a finesse day just because we've had so much just calm, still weather. We haven't had much change. We had a little bit of rain yesterday, but I don't think it had that much to do with the bite. I don't, I don't know what exactly why the bite was so much better than the last few days. I don't want my videos to seem like I catch fish every time I go out because, because I've been out a couple times this week and also last week and have caught nothing or caught very small ones sometimes you hit them at the right time you know that could also be a thing it could have been timing i could have just hit them at the right time they were ready to eat but bass can be unpredictable so don't follow the rule books too carefully definitely you know use them as a tool use like the rule books and what i mean by that is just you know what you normally hear about bass fishing a lot of it is true a lot of it does help but follow it very loosely i, I was fishing today and i was like there's no way they need a crankbait there was like hardly any wind it was pretty hot sunny still it just didn't seem like they were gonna eat the crankbait but sure enough they were destroying it had probably one of the best days ever i mean i got major bass thumb right now so just remember to try different things when you're out there don't be afraid to experiment and hopefully you can have a day similar to how i had one today so that's about it y'all i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to leave a like if you want to see more make sure to subscribe share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in the next video
Peace.